In Germany, everyone has the right to medicine and medical attention. This includes people who fled to Germany. Refugees in particular are covered by the paragraphs 1, 4 and 6 of the Asylum Seekers Benefits Act. This means people who cannot afford to pay for medical aid will be supported by the German state with regard to matters of a basic care. The following short clip will tell you what kind of medical attention you're entitled to as a refugee and where to get it. There are more than 20,000 refugees officially living in so-called Erstaufnahmeeinrichtungen, in short EA in Hamburg. To guarantee medical attention, there are GP practices at every EA, which are open to everyone, that is, women, men and children. Medical aid is provided free of charge, regardless of people's asylum status. We are meeting Mustafa Fahimi, a doctor who works at EA Willemsburg on a weekly basis. We are treating mainly Syrian and Afghan patients. There is a list on which they can sign up. The security guard will put it here and then everyone can sign up on first come, first serve basis. In Germany you usually make an appointment with the doctor's office. Either you give him a call or you ask at the reception desk. As a patient you have to wait until the doctor calls you out. This is the doctor's room. The doctor's assistant is sitting here, who is typically a practice nurse or hospital nurse. The patients can have a seat over there. There may also be an interpreter, of course, depending on the requested language. There are two stools for the doctor and maybe for another doctor in training. If you have any problems, you should first go and see the camp doctor. People come here with a sore throat or a cough. Many also have stomach problems. While some of these are persisting problems, some have only emerged living in the camp. Many have bad teeth, that is, they're afflicted with acute toothache. Many elderly people also want to have their blood pressure measured or their blood glucose checked. In order for the doctor to help you, it is important that you explain and show as precisely as possible where you feel pain. There are usually also interpreters in the EAs to help with the communication. They are summoned to the consultation hours like the doctors. The results are put down in a file. In case patients are transferred somewhere else, the camp doctor can give them the file to take them with them for the next doctor. They need to bring their identification card. This way we can see what kind of insurance they have and if they've been here before. We can also find the file faster. And of course they should also bring their medical reports if they've been to a hospital or another doctor before. It is important that patients keep their medical reports and bring them with them. This includes their vaccination cards, maternity logs, medical files or radiographs. This is our medicine cupboard. Here we can have medicine for common ailments as well as dressing material. Put simply, if someone has, for instance, a fever, he can get medication straight from the camp doctor. If people are chronically ill, like heart patients or diabetics, medicine will be ordered for them. It is important, however, to see the camp doctor early enough, because an order can take seven days. In addition to that, there is a special provision. In case of a really acute and severe illness, when the patient needs to go to the hospital, I can provide him with a respective letter of referral, or a so-called 24 hours Behandlungsschein. This means in a case of emergency, the patient will be taken straight to the hospital and will be treated there. However, in case of further treatment, which exceeds primary care, for example at a medical specialist, the patient needs a special permission. Only then the costs are covered by the state. Even though Hamburg introduced the electronic health card, in short EGK, for refugees, 
which is supposed to shorten the permission process, it may take months until refugees actually receive their health cards. For example, to see a medical specialist without an EGK, the patient needs to get a letter from his camp doctor, which attests the necessity of the treatment in question. As a second step, social management has to make the appointment for him. Depending on how urgent his case is, the patient may have to wait for weeks or even months. Finally, he gets a certificate, stating that the costs will be covered. Only now the patient can see a medical specialist. As all this is rather complicated, Hamburg introduced the electronic health card. With this card, it is possible for the camp doctor to immediately refer the patient to a specialist or a hospital. It also allows the patient to freely choose a doctor. Finally, it also allows camp doctors to hand out prescriptions for medicine available at the pharmacy. This sounds as well and good, but is everyone entitled to a health card? And where do I get it anyway? In order to get answers to these questions, we meet Dr. Niesen, head of the public health department in Altona. Refugees who have been registered according to immigration and alien law and stay here in Hamburg are entitled to an electronic health card. Those who have to move to another state won't receive an EGK in Hamburg. It takes four to five months after arriving here in Hamburg until refugees receive their health cards. Put simply, if a refugee has claimed asylum in Hamburg and is allowed to stay, he is entitled to an electronic health card. The respective application will automatically be filed for him by the Social Security Office. Thereby the refugee becomes part of the German health insurance system. The EGK certainly makes it easier to use the health system. To make sure that people aren't without aid while they wait for their EGK, we installed the special arrangement in the Erstaufnahmeeinrichtungen. Everyone who visits the camp doctor receives aid. This is a coping mechanism until the refugees get their health cards. But why all this effort with a health card? because the medical attention depends on a person's insurance status. In Germany, everyone is compulsory insured and pays a fixed monthly premium to a health insurance company. Because of the monthly premium, people don't have to pay at the doctors. Those who can't afford the contribution will be supported by the German state. The state guarantees medical attention for destitute people, at least to the extent necessary to obtain their state of health. Moreover, there are special provisions in case of emergency. In an emergency situation, anyone gets medical attention to the fullest extent. This means with or without a health card, with or without legal asylum status, in case of shortness of breath, vertigo, pain in the chest or stomach, injuries, open wounds or severe pain, you will receive the necessary aid, be it at a hospital or at a specialist.